Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Stay with us and please subscribe my channel to get update news of Wicker Show. What does King Redovid imply for The Witcher Season 4? The Witcher Season 3 was full of twists and turns, and over in Redania, Prince Radovid, Hugh Skinner, was crowned king. The Witcher on Netflix has a constantly growing universe, and the third season of the main series was considered as an event and split into two parts. In addition to being Henry Cavill's final season as Geralt of Rivia, The Witcher Season 3 featured some significant and unexpected developments that would alter the fate of numerous characters, both primary and secondary. While Geralt, Yennefer of Vengerberg, and Ciri did their best to stay together and safe as half the continent looks for Ciri, the Kingdom of Redania went through some truly shocking moments. Redania's advisor, Sigismund Dijkstra, and sorcerer's advisor, Philippa Eilhart, were behind these events that will change the course of Redania's history in The Witcher, and among them is Prince Redovid taking the throne. The Witcher Season 4 will see Redovid ruling Redania, with Dijkstra and Philippa standing very close to him, and this will have major repercussions in the world of The Witcher. Prince Redovid of Redania made his debut in the Netflix series in Season 3, when he was appointed by his brother, King Visimir, as his new right hand in their quest to find Ciri. As a result, Radovid worked closely with Dijkstra and Philippa, much to the former's dismay, but the sorcerers realized that Radovid was very easy to manipulate. However, this led to King Visimir not informing Dijkstra of every one of his moves, including a meeting with Nilfgaard in which he ended up making a terrible deal with them which Dijkstra obviously knew was a bad idea that would negatively affect Redania. In order to regain Visimir's trust and make Radovid seem useless, Dijkstra ordered the murder of Queen Hedwig and blamed Nilfgaard for it. Radovid ended up being manipulated by both Dijkstra and Philippa, leading him to use and betray Jaskier to their advantage, though he truly had feelings for the bard. The Thanid coup led Radovid to rethink his position as part of Redania's royalty, and after returning home, he told his brother he would leave to find his purpose. However, after hearing that she would be killed due to the failure of the Thanid coup, Philippa acted quickly and ordered King Visimir's murder. Once Visimir's body was found, Philippa immediately crowned Radovid as Redania's king, so their enemies would not see them as weak without a leader. Those familiar with the Witcher books and video games know a very different Radovid from the one the Netflix series introduced. Those who already knew Radovid know that he's one of the cruelest characters in The Witcher, and while he wasn't presented as such in Season 3, his ways could take a drastic turn now that he's the king of Redania. Netflix's The Witcher's version of Radovid is a carefree, good-hearted, yet malleable young man which is why Philippa saw a big chance in working with him. Through Radovid now as King of Redania, Philippa will be able to do as she pleases with this kingdom, which she couldn't do when Queen Hedwig and King Visimir were alive. By himself, Radovid as a ruler doesn't seem like a bad idea, as he's much more empathetic, kind, and smart than his deceased brother, but he's also a lot easier to manipulate than Visimir. Radovid could become the cruel ruler that fans of The Witcher know so well, thanks to Philippa and Dijkstra's influence, with Radovid damaging his image and Philippa and Dijkstra's reputation remaining intact. Redania, like many others, is still looking for Ciri, and though Radovid is aware of how far Geralt is willing to go to keep Ciri safe and bring her home, he will most likely be manipulated by Philippa into having a much more aggressive approach so they can finally capture the princess of Sintra.